no, no injury, yes. no injury, no mark. So if that yes. that that pain which not going to leave any mark, yes, that is allowed. That, so yeah. I'm allowed to inflict pain on my wife. As long as it doesn't leave a mark. And there are contradicting hadiths in Imam Bukhari, in Sahih Bukhari and Musayim Muslim. What that means? They both can't be right. Okay, so, so Sahih doesn't mean Sahih then. And look, the word fear and being used yeah, as a synonym to well, certainty. That, that's the English language. That's in English language. So then this it's is, a poor translation. That, that's fear, the most closest word. So is. the Islamic scholars who are Arabic speakers primarily have a poor translation into English. No, because you're a Christian, right? It doesn't matter. Oh, so he said, "All right, cool." I'm just week, like I no, thought you'd be no, more concerned no, about your no. prophecies and about what's happening no. in the world today than this mindless we can come speculative. To them. You know what wait, I mean? Wait, 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 this wait, is just self-destructive. Beat your wife if she refuses sex. If she goes out without your permission. Refusing sex is an unchaste. Oh, imagine this. Yeah. If she goes out without your permission or without a good reason. If she neglects her uh, and her beauty, you know, she, like she tries to look unattractive. And if she goes out without your permission or without a good reason. That yeah, is what's but called that law, did they give any reference of the Quran and Sunnah? No, it's, um, it's no, right, it's, simple, it's, simple answer is yes or no. It's a book called Fiqh. I know, did they, give, it, did, did, did they give the reference from the Quran and Sunnah? Yes or no? No, it's, it's, no, it's, it's Islamic law. No. Keep saying that, but okay. did they give the reference? Islamic law come from the Quran and Sunnah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It cannot come from the people okay. because Allah says in chapter 459, yeah. Obey Allah and obey the messengers and the leaders among you. But if you differ among yourself, go back to Allah and the Maybe messenger. Maybe no one differs okay. on the reason, the what? law that he's given. Oh, many Muslims differ. Do you know what? Do you know many Muslims differ. Do you know this what? is the opinion of the scholar, and okay. scholars are not infallible. I'll give you an opinion of a scholar, Ibn Kafir. He says, in the tafsir of the very same verse, he says, the woman, the wife, is not allowed to act above the husband. She's not allowed to That's ignore the husband. She's not allowed to dislike the husband. She's not allowed to disobey the husband. And the Prophet said, that if he had, if he had, um, if he had um, asked anybody to worship anybody, it would be the wife of the Muslim man worshiping the man to such a degree that if the woman refuses to have sex, the angels will curse her until the morning. There's so many That's different. That's a tough set. So That's many, a tough I know, but, but you, you, you bring in so many Sahih different. Bukhari. I know you bring in so many hadiths, bringing back no, to. I'm not, no, what, I'm not, tough set. Okay, I heard okay, you. But you are making a cocktail of many different hadiths. You know, for, for example, okay, worship, worshipping a husband. You know what that hadith is actually about? Okay, you tell me. It's a long hadith. The hadith is about one of the companions. One of the companions, um, one of the companions went somewhere else. He came to the, to the Prophet and he bowed down to him. He said, what are you doing? He said, I went to the uh, small place and I saw the people are worshipping or bowing down to their lords. Muhammad said, do not do that. This is only for Allah. If it was allowed to worship any bow down to anybody, I would have told wives to bow down to their husband for their for what they do to, for their wives. But it is not allowed. So that's the long hadith. He didn't say, I want wives to bow down to husbands. So he's basically saying, you shouldn't bow down to anyone. If anybody had a right, it would have been husband. But even though they, they know as well. Okay. So you're making a cocktail of okay. many different hadith, of these. How does that hadith now, end? I, eh? How does it end? It ends with the Prophet saying, for all the rights that he has over her, and for the and for the uh, and for the enormity, yeah, of, of what husbands do for their wives, yeah. they have the more right, but even they don't as well. Only to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. It was a side reference he was giving. But um, what? It's it, just prostrate. Okay, though, I give it? you I, I I give you a verdict of one of the imams, Imam Malik. Okay. He said that anyone can be wrong apart from the Prophet peace be upon him, Imam the human being. You can disagree with with anyone. Apart from Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the lesson from we learn sorry, from that sorry. is Ibn Kathir, whatever he said, that is his opinion. We can disagree with that as long as if he doesn't back from Sunnah. Does that uh, include Jesus, Moses? Um, like, does it any human being? So any of their writings, you can disagree with those as long as you don't disagree no, with no, no, Muhammad. No, no. If something verifies, Jesus says something. No Muslim, no no Muslim should disagree with any prophet. But neither do Muhammad just say it's being corrupted. Like if you yes, if 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 we if we can verify if it's a word of Moses, then of course we have to follow. For example, there like are Quran, Quranic verses about meat. Moses. Huh? Like not eating camel meat. Can I go back to that hadith? That's, sorry, I've just why are you talking about this, guys? Uh, it's really strange. It's it's it is from last week. That's not what I mean. Uh, I right. mean, like, if you're talking about oh, reli we religious stuff, we're continuing in the conversation from last week. All right, cool. Said, I just want I want to suggest that perhaps maybe we're living in because you're a Christian, right? Doesn't matter. 
Well, so, he said. All right, cool. I'm just week, like I no, thought you'd no, be more concerned no, about your no, prophecies no, and about what's happening no, in the world today no, than this mindless picking up. You know what I mean? This is just self-destructive. You don't have to listen to this. No, no, I don't have to. I'm just making a suggestion. He made. He made a suggestion last week. I would say maybe stuff in the world is more significant than this. No, the things of this world and unimportant compared to eternal world. We can get to that later. We can get to that later. Whatever is happening in the world right now is is nothing more than what it's going to be in the hereafter. This this life is very temporary life. So it's we, more important to bicker over tiny little differences. No, we're not bickering. We're wait, discussing wait, 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 them. Wait, we're bickering wait, with wait, you. You've come, here, you've come here mindless. to a debate that you don't okay, need well, to be at. Well, sure. and then, you there. don't even know what we're talking about exactly. Uh, and listening. you say we're bickering. Aye, right. yeah. because you are. You don't ha- okay, what well, are? Uh, you're you're trying to convince so him that he's wrong. No, and you're trying to no, convince him that no, he's wrong. I'm not, I'm for what reason? No, we're discussing the deep. I'm trying to clarify what you said last week. He said last week that. Wives only get beaten if they're unchaste. And that's of this world. And he said that they don't get beaten. To death he said that you just have to tap them. Now we're clarifying uh-huh. if that is true or not. Sure. And then we can move on to something else. And I showed you from the Sahih Hadith, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says the strike, first of all, the woman has to be unchaste. It's not like any wife no, who's no, not looking for you. Fear un- in chastity. No, you I, fear I, I told it. you. From those who you I fear told rebellion. you according to Quran that word fear here means. Absolute so, knowledge. Absolute. Uh, yes, because I, chapter four. I wasn't convinced of that. Well, I, 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 just, no, I have heard I just read the verses from the Quran. Okay. But I don't know. Quran, you it. must understand holistically. I'm sorry, no, holistically. You, sorry, holistically. You need to understand what other verses are talking about. I've got what you're saying. You can't just you pick and choose one verse. I'm sure the word fear okay. is. I can show you okay. another verse. Okay. I can show you another verse about the fear. Well, then why didn't Allah say, from those who you are absolutely certain of rebellion, he didn't say that. He said, from those, those you fear. So that those, gives you license to those accuse you have a, Those who have a knowledge of Arabic, yep. and those people who are living in that time, they completely, exactly understood what this Quran is saying. The fear here doesn't mean just doubt, meaning of fear of certainty, meaning you are sure this is happening. I've never and heard look, the word fear uh, being used yeah, as a synonym to well, certainty. That, that's the English language. That's in English language. So this then it's is, a poor translation. That, that's fear, the most closest word. So the Islamic scholars who are Arabic speakers primarily have a poor translation into English. No, because in the, every word in it's between, not English. That's no, a every, every word in the English language does not apply. You can't trans, translation. It's not always, always 100%. You can have irrational fear. Can, can I just, can I just you clarify can your point? Sure You're saying that you only you're only allowed to hit the woman if she's unchaste yeah and then you said that when you hit the woman you, you, you're not supposed to inflict any no pain. mark Bang. are you no saying? mark no injury are you supposed to inflict pain like a domestic abuser would you mean are you like well, no marks, marks no injury. the pain could have leave, leave a mark so you need to be so careful that make sure there should be no more than tap of the wrist tap on the wrist but why because, do that at the end because because, because, because i i give you an example the women's bodies are Generally, you know, if you hit a little bit harder, you can leave a mark. So that's why let's say no leave mark, no injury. But understand one thing: there are three stages. You are advising, advising your wife. She's not listening to your advice. Meaning, she's resisting. She's, she's resisting. She say no. She say no. I'm not going to. Re- you, you are a husband. Then you separating the bed. She's still not getting the message. She's now, happy days. now, <laughs> yeah, now, now, in in the wisdom of God. If to save a marriage, a slap of the ri- on the wrist can save your marriage, the then it's wise to then then it is wise to do that. Sorry, sorry. Oh yeah. Then it then it is wise. Then it is wise to save for the greater good, the smaller evil, if you want to call it, to save the marriage. If that saves the marriage, I think that that's worth it. But but you don't have okay. to. I'm going to clarify your point with Kay. Okay, let's say us two are married together, yeah. Right, she does something really, she does something really bad, yeah. Like she goes out and she dresses as she wants. She said for the woman who dresses as she wants, yeah. and then yeah, and then she still dresses as she wants. Then I separate from the bed. Yeah. She she still dresses as she wants. Right. She's not she's, then, she's not listening. She's not getting the message. And then I tap her. <laughs> you know and then me. I tap her, and I don't inflict any pain. Or I don't inflict any injury. What stops her from what happened? Going you out show, she you're showing the veracity of the situation. She's not getting the message. So you're saying, "Look, I really mean that." What are you doing? Oh, I mean, that was a bit harder than a. No, but she tap. might inflict, and I might inflict. Well, pain. yeah, yeah. If if that can, a for example, snack. I give you the other day. The Am man, I allowed to inflict pain? No. Um, I'm not allowed to inflict pain. pain. Well, well, well the, the word says no mark, no injury. Oh, sorry, Hadith said no mark, no injury. No, no. Yeah, it doesn't say no, no, pain. Doesn't say no pain, pain, but no injury. No, no injury, yes. no injury, no mark. So if that, yes. that 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 pain, which not going to leave any mark, yes, 
that is allowed that. So yeah. I'm allowed to inflict pain on my wife. As long as it doesn't leave the mark. So you need okay. to be judged of what kind of a hit doesn't leave a mark on her body. Okay. And that is only to save um, your marriage. Okay. And and what so if you misjudge it? What if you're... Um, you, you've you done sin in the eyes of do you, God. And do you get any, any uh, temporal punishment? Sorry, do you get any then punishment she can in this take world? You, then she can take you to the court, Islamic court, for abusing you. No for, for abusing you. No it's not have to have no, Islamic court probably. in the Sharia, you, you're not allowed to abuse anybody. Does she need oh. witnesses You know that cut of his verse? You know she, that, sorry, you know does that, she need that's witnesses? For the rape. That's for the rape. No, but I'm asking, so for domestic abuse, no... Okay. You know the Kotobi said of that verse, he says that if you hit your wife uh, and um, he said, try not to hit your wife, but if you hit her and she dies, <laughs> it's not a crime. I'm not laughing, so. What? It's not a crime. Kotobi said that. I'd like to see that. Okay. I'd like to see that and really. I'm, okay. so I'm sorry, but I'm not going to take your so, word for it. Okay. You know that Uma said the man should not be asked to why beat his wife, you know that? Right? Uma. When he was beating his wife, he says a man should not be asked to wife. Umar is not a prophet, you know. Okay. You, you know, know that, that Allah okay. says obey Allah and obey okay. the messenger, not okay. obey Umar. Okay. Remember that. You do realize that in the hadith. He said all your leaders. No, but, yes, but, no, but they say if you disagree with okay. them. Okay. But same okay. say if you disagree with them, okay. come back to okay. Allah and Muhammad, okay. not Umar. Okay, how do you explain the hadith where um, the man the man beat his wife so bad she, that she turned green? And the prophet never asked the man if he warned her if he separated from Well, the man answer was, she's lying. Oh, okay. She yeah. just turned green no, by no, no. herself. Yeah, because the woman says because she wants to go back to her first husband. So the man, what the man answer was? She's she's lying. So it was green. it was her word against his How word. How did she so, produce the bruises? Well, so probably she wanted to get divorced from him, so she just make a case. So she hit herself, that, did she? Look, remember that hadith. hadith she got the first husband. <laughs> hadith, <laughs> well, you, you see that hadith is ambiguous. That okay. he beat her or not beat her, it was her word it's against. Only his word but Muhammad says the other hadith is Sahih hadith. We say you should not leave any mark. Exactly. Yeah, uh, so he broke trust, that. Uh, okay. So the guy whose wife was green from the would be in. would be more likely to lie and deny it because he's left a mark. So therefore, he's not within but the scope again, of it's permission. It's her word against his word. It always and there is. There needs to be a witness there. So he clearly. And there does need to be a witness for domestic. No, there doesn't. There doesn't need to be. No, but, but yeah, no, they, they, you need to be a witness of course. Oh, yeah. So, why did Aisha say that he seen none suffer as much as the believing woman after that particular it's, it's story? They had no witnesses. The no, yeah. so, no, what suffer means here? Suffer, no, no, suffer, no, suffer means they, they, they have no a. Pain or they have no, a, said it after that they have a limit after of. The green they chest. have a limit of liberty, like other women are. So, it, she, suffer doesn't always mean uh, uh, pain. Or it could be uh, yes, just I'm, your, I'm your sorry, liberty. Sorry, context, you are limited I mean, in your liberty. But in the context, obviously, because she said that pain. after after Muhammad told the wife who, who husband beat her to, um, that she turned green, uh, Muhammad told her to return. Muhammad said that she should return back to her husband. That's Not what I just said. I just said she said none suffer as much as they believe in women. He, he said return back to her husband. He doesn't look. So what he what said is, if she wanted divorce from him. She has to fulfill the marriage, but she which, has to go back which to is husband. sex. If she wants to go back she to the first, no. If she go want to go back to the first husband, remember Islamic ruling is this: if you, if, you, if, you, if, you, if you if you want to go back to your, he never, he never, he never warned said the man. He never leave. saw the man. Did you? No, no. That's you that's what. So he's giving tacit approval to that behavior because he hasn't the advised guy, her. Yes. The stay guy, with your sister. Yes. And let's all sort it out in a minute. The guy Get completely refused it. He says she's lying. Okay, and that she was says, her no, word, I'm not. Her okay. word against his word. But she says, so no, how, I'm not. how is he going to judge? Because he took green. Because he's he can, the prophet no, of God. No, how no, does because, he not no, know? Because, because, because he can see. But if, if Jesus cannot, cannot see the fig tree has a fig on it. No, no, no off, Jesus can. Jesus does see something under the tree when he's not there. Yes, he No, he didn't. Yes, he did. He went to the fig tree. Mark says. I'm not talking about that Anyway, If you talk about the knowledge of prophet, if Jesus doesn't Jesus knew no, things that no, were not in front of him. Point I can prove it to you. Surely, surely, no, I'll find the one I'm talking about. Surely, surely the point is mm. that he never said to the man, did you warn her, did you separate from the bed? He never said that. He just made it, he just told the woman to return back to the guy. No, no, no. You, you, you see, you're misjudging again. The okay. worst, worst says about the separating the bed about the loose woman. Here is no case. The man is not making a case that she's a loose woman or not. It's not like any wife you can separate the bed or beat or whatever. It's about the loose woman. So here, nothing to do with what she's loose about. She just wants to go back to the first husband. Yes, yeah, so she probably is making all the excuses. She done something to her. So Prophet would say, oh, he's abusing. So divorce. So he say, I didn't do it. She's lying. So Prophet, how is he going to judge? What to say? He's the Prophet no, of no, God. How no, does he not no, know? Because if he 
you fear disobedience and it ends off you you stop beating them when they return to obedience. Four, so three, surely four. the four three four the, the verse of beating the wives. What is it? It's, it, I mean, it starts off saying if you fear it, it starts off first of all it says men are superior yeah, yeah. men are maintained with the part to do with violence it says if you fear disobedience you beat until she returns to disobedience. The and chase part the chase part the chase part is before that. Yes. So no the no part, the same context. No, no. It, okay, let's read the verse. Yes, let's read the um, verse. By the way, it's John one. Three to fifty-one, the fig tree. No, that's another one. The, that's, that's what, what I was talking no, no, about. No, but there are two yeah. One is talking about children of Israel. Fig tree. Yeah. No, yeah. I, no, no, no. I was just saying that Jesus can know things that are not visibly. It's not if Muhammad can't judge who's lying between no, a man I, I and a woman, be, and he's I a true prophet. Okay. okay. Sorry. Didn't have any clue about, about the okay. That's the reason. This is my point. Wait, before Chapter you read the verse, four, four, it starts off by saying men are in charge of women because yeah. they have more power and we give them money. No, what Allah the has good given woman, them. the good woman, is chaste. But if you even fear disobedience, yeah, you should be until she's obedient again. Men are in charge of women. Okay. By what Allah has given one over the other. Yes. And what they spend. Yes. I'm not reading in the parentheses. Yes. From their wealth. Yes. So righteous women are devoutly obedient, yes. guarding in absence. What Allah would have them guard. Okay. This is what I was talking about. To understand what it means, a guarding meaning, you have to go back to chapter 33, verse 35. When he says, the chaste, uh, men are chaste and gu guarding, and the women are also guarding. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, I'm just paraphrasing. Okay. That's what we talk about the chastity yeah. meaning. Yeah. They are not being okay. vulgar or, or loose. Okay. So, what Allah would have them guard. But those whom, from whom you fear arrogance. Arrogance of what? Arrogance of that that they are not chaste. They are not. They they, they are rejecting to be chaste. If you um, if you um, sorry, fear arrogance. Yeah. And fear here you need to understand chapter four verse one twenty eight says the women if they fear their husband not being good to them they can go to the judge for their settlement. So the fear here meaning a surety something is happening. Now the husband you want to keep on reading or yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. So if you fear arrogance, advise them. Arrogance of what they are resisting to be chased. Advise them. Ah, it's only fair thing to say. Advise, please don't do that. So if, if it doesn't work, of course, then it says the next step is forsake them in the bed. She's still not listening. She's not still understanding. Then he says, strike them. So what kind of a woman? No, no, I, and what's the end after that? Strike them. Until but if they obey you, okay. yeah, obey Stop. you, seek no means against them. Okay. Indeed, Allah is ever exalted in so that. So what if they're not obeying you? Even but then, after you've beaten then, them? Then, if they're not obeying you, there's, there's no more... Uh, no, uh, as you're hitting her, what if I'm hitting her and, and she's resisting or she's fighting back? Yeah, then then is the divorce, of course. No, no, you beat until she returns to obedience, that's what it says. No, but you understand what strike no. means? Well, what does the end say? Strike it says you beat her, no the, end, no, the end is a crucial point. No, no, it says, no. strike it says them. you stop beating them when they return to obedience. No, no, it doesn't say that. So, it so what is it, it says so strike the them. Until? But if, no, you didn't say until. Okay, okay. You didn't say until. Okay. But, but if they say strike them. Okay. But if they obey you, if they obey you, uh, yeah. seek no means against them. Okay. Indeed, Allah is ever God in mind. Okay. So what if I'm hitting her? So what if I'm hitting her and she's not obeying me? She's resisting. Then you you divorce her. No, but because these know. are the three steps. Well, it, says, it says you should be until she returns. It didn't say until. Why you okay. keep okay. putting okay. word into it until? It didn't I'm say until. Up my verse. And I'm thinking of the one I've got at home. Maybe. Uh, but the one you got here. If you read the commentary, then the commentary might explain. When do you stop beating her? When she returns to obedience. But do you understand what beating here means? No, wait, no, no injury, no mark. And no so you pain. can you can no maybe pain. tap on the wrist for the rest of the world. Is there pain? Are you allowed to inflict pain on your, on your wife? If your it beating? says no living mark, then yeah. I would uh, say what kind of a pain that would be. Because pain could be, that that is the pain as well, but it's yeah. not leaving mark. So there's no pain? So, yes, I mean hitting which is not leaving mark, it's not like beating like, like a mad person. Are so you know. To, are you allowed to inflict pain when you're beating? It doesn't mention it, so yes. It doesn't mention, of course. So it yes. Made, made, oh, look, this can pain as well. There's yep. a pain. Pain have a levels. So I could yeah, you so, so, so slap on the. But now. as long as you don't leave a mark. So imagine okay. a woman body is much more delicate in okay. a way. Leave mark okay. easily. I mean, I, I hold my wife's uh, wrist the other day. Just just okay. uh, uh, just let let's okay. go, darling. Taking her, we okay. were just moving, 
And she said, you hurt me. I didn't mean to hurt that. And, and actually that left mark on her. Later on she said there was a bruise there. Even though I was just like, come on darling, let's go. So, um, so a man has to be so careful not leaving mark. So you need to understand you should not be anything hard. Okay. And the wisdom behind it okay. is to save the marriage. Okay. If that can save the marriage, okay. then in, in a bigger picture, yeah. it's, 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 it's a good thing to do. Okay. Yeah, for the yeah. greater good. Yeah. But what I'm saying is um, you can divorce. These, these are three steps okay. and then you divorce. Okay. So I want to, so I think we should bring this to an end, but let's just bring it to an end by clarifying your point. I'm married to to, to, to okay. play here, okay. I, I don't know your name. She's done something really bad. You better otherwise this divorce. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll just beat you to the end. And she does something so bad. So I tell her off and she continues to do it. Well, it says advise her, not tell her off. Advise her, advise her. Please don't do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then she should I, listen to you. And if she's a good woman, she should listen to you. Okay. But if, if, okay. You might be talking about right. And then I... Just telling you to be, and then be I separate decent. from her bed. And then I separate from the bed. And then she continues to do it. And then that means, I. And then that means I, something's not right there. Okay. What? And then, what a sex and god. Then, if no, he banishes no, me. No, 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 no. I just want to get his point clear. Sorry. Don't, don't, don't be loose. I mean, what's wrong with that? No, 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 there's nothing wrong with that, but it's your definition of love. Okay. I warned her I separate from the bed. And she's still doing it. It's a chronic definition, by the way. So. So. I. I touch her. I don't break anything. I don't hurt anything. And I don't inflict any pain. And she gets the message. Does that make sense? If she doesn't get the message, then there will. No, but, no, but at Understanding the end, is that I just touch her yourself. and I make sure that I touch it in such a way that it doesn't it, it hurt her in any way. Don't leave much. It doesn't leave any much. Don't break anything. But she gets the point and she, return, and, and, and she comes back to her yeah, yeah, it can happen. Does that make sense to you? No, yes, it does. I'll tell okay. you why. Let's end it. i tell you why. No, 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 i tell you why. No, end it Sometimes you... Does that make no, sense no, to you? No, it does. i tell you why. has never... I, I tell you, I tell you what. She could think it's foreplay. I'm going to give you one. I'm going to give you. I'm going to give you one example, and tell me if you're honest, you you understand or not. Of somebody could be in a rage. Friends are together, in, in a rage, and one is just keep shouting. It's a, and he's saying, John, stop it, stop it, and he's not stopping. He's he's shouting on his face, not. And then suddenly, John, and then suddenly just somebody just wake up and say, he really, and some come back to senses. Some little, sometimes little physical tap can bring somebody in senses who's in rage, he's not listening to you. You can't happen. You can't deny that. So this is exactly Wait, what it means. It the woman is just really not in other senses. Things. But if I tap him like that, and, and um, he still goes against me. Then you say, go to hell. Friends can leave sometimes as well. That but, sometimes but, physical contact no, can show somebody that he really the, mean that. But in the context of the Quran, he has to obey me. Okay, okay, if he doesn't, then leave it. Divorce. Finish. The done. Dust it. That's why you're not getting the but, point. But These the, three steps and then divorce. But the Quran There's no verse, more force. But the Quran says that he has to obey me. No, no, you didn't say that. If she obey you, no. then do not. Says, if you fear disobedience, yeah. And we already, fear. we already talked about what fear. No, fear means. No, but in that context, but you said it. I haven't read it somewhere else. No, else. and in that context, if I hit John and he doesn't obey me, I can hit him again until he obeys me. In the context if, of this, if he comes to his senses, then not. But that leaves yeah. open the question of if he doesn't, then I can you've got all of those steps no, it, it, at your. It doesn't, it doesn't mean that. It means How, these why, are the three steps, and then you leave. Then, then when do leave. you stop the hitting? When you feel like when it. the person returns, when the person stops being okay. disobedient. Even even if he hit you hundred times here and doesn't leave any mark, then 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 the save marriage. You, yeah, but uh, in, in in a common sense, if it doesn't work, then you divorce. These are the three steps. You're not going to live okay. with that woman okay. because she's not getting the okay. point. So okay. one thing we need to understand: okay. hitting doesn't mean here okay. like some people okay. say hitting meaning really, okay. uh, okay. you know, harming okay. a person. Okay. It's not that. It's okay. a strike. Which, like I show you the hadith, okay. Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam strike his companion. Why? As a congratulation. Same thing. He strike in his chest. May Allah okay. give you more knowledge of Quran. Okay. Why when he answered him? So that that was strike mean. Okay. It doesn't mean harming. Or, or, the word is, or the, the like people say, huh? the word is the Daraba. Yeah. The word in the in four people is Daraba. That's right. And that's used in a hadith to, right. to, to do it. Oh, show to, you do, the other day? to do with taming wild animals. Didn't I show you the hadith the other day? No, but, no, but the word is to do with taming wild animals. I don't think you read this. Well, I think women are <laughs> uh, I'll show you the hadith. Yes, uh, yes, well, so. I'll show you the hadith then. Sure. Didn't I show you the hadith? No, no, you no, want me to show no, you the hadith? No, no, no. I and I want to bring this to an end. And I want to bring this to an end. Do you have a tasir or scholar that is the point you just made? I have the hadith. 
But do you have a tafsir? I have the hadith. But do you have a tafsir? No, but I have the hadith. No. Hadith is above the tafsir, okay. brother. But you need to understand the point. Sahih hadith yeah. goes above any tafsir. Because you know, tafsir is understanding of the scholar and the commentary of the scholar. And the, sometimes scholars, exactly. you know, they disagree with each other. You're on record of saying that you don't trust the hadith. I said that. Yeah, you said that. You said that. You, you said that some hadiths, some hadiths you can follow, even if they're sahih, and some you can't, because you said my that my yardstick. I always say is the Quran. Yeah. If any hadith yeah. goes against yeah. the spirit of the Quran, yeah. what I'm going to take? I'm going to take the Quran. Yeah. So Quran is number one. Yeah. Then mutawatir sahih hadith okay. is number two. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Then ijma of the scholars. Ijma consensus of the scholars. Okay. Number three. Okay. Then come tafsir or anything else. Okay. But so the these are these are the steps. But the is this to do with Sahih Hadith as well? I'm just tapping you lightly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the spirit of the Quran is not the letter of the Quran. Because anybody can say, well, through this book, I've read this book, and I believe that the spirit of it is X, Y, and Z. And somebody else, another scholar or another layman, can come along and say, well, actually, I don't get that vibe. What I think he means, and that's why you have tafsir because it's not the clear and concise word of Allah. It's open to interpretation, as in. Uh, fear can mean knowledge, or knowledge can mean like. Also, at the same time, the tafsir of Ibn Kafir doesn't go against the it doesn't go against the spirit of that verse. Where Ibn Kafir says it wasn't in the hadith. Say hadith. It doesn't go against the spirit of the verse. Say hadith. Say don't go against the Say hadith. Say I'm married to I'm married to Faye. She's not okay. allowed. Sorry, I think we're married, you know. Yeah, yeah, no, I know. I mean, well, and it's only been a, and it's only been a few years. A few minutes. You know. <laughs> no, I'm married to her. According to Ibn Kafir, she's not allowed to dislike me. She's not allowed to ignore Ibn me. Ibn Kafir can just get on with it. She's not allowed to disobey me. Yeah, and she's not allowed to um, dress the way I want to. She's not allowed to act above me. Explain to me yeah. again. That goes, that's with the spirit of the Quran. If she does any of those things, I can beat her until she returns to obedience. Let me show you Hadith. I think I showed you Hadith last time, didn't I? Yeah. About uh, Daraba. It's just so clear. Is it used in another verse to do with taming wild animals? Yes or no? Yes or no? In another verse? I never read that. Uh, I heard people saying that and, yeah. and non Muslims saying yeah. that. I never heard that. I'll show me. Show me the proof, then we'll talk about it. If I, I'm, I'm going to show you the hadith. No, 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 no because I think that I think that this is what happens. Muslims don't even agree. The scholars don't even agree on the hadith. Brother, I'm showing you. Don't you agree. I'm showing when you the hadith. hadith, when the hadith serves your purpose, you like it. But when another hadith contradicts you know, this hadith, uh, you're not going to like it. Arabic here? Anybody, anybody can read Arabic here? No, Arabic. Arabic. Anybody? Nobody can read Arabic here. Are you? Are you being facetious? No, Daraba. No, 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 the, the word Daraba. Word Daraba. Because, because I, I don't want you to just believe what I'm telling you. No, the Hadith says Fad Daraba. Okay. okay. Have you got yeah. it in English? And I've seen yes, another I got English. Hadith. And English says strike. Now the yeah. Hadith is this. But Let me read. Sahih Muslim. Sahih Muslim Hadith number 810. Hadith is Ubay bin Kaab, a very knowledgeable guy he was, one of the four I picked one. Allah's Messenger Sallallahu said, Oh Abu Al Mundir, do you know the worst from the Quran of which Allah according to you is the greatest asking him yeah, yeah, do you I know which is the greatest verse last week, yeah. I said Allah and his apostle know best he again said O Abu al -Mundid, do you know the verse from the book of Allah which according to you is the greatest I said Allah there is no God talking about chapter 2 verse 255 Ayatul Kursi he told him I gave him the answer thereupon he struck me on my breast yeah same word for Daraba me best and said, May knowledge be pleasant for you, O Bull Mandir. Like this. For the, for Daraba. So Daraba here doesn't mean he hurt him. Was oh, he wait, angry? Wait, wait, wait. He was acknowledging him. Wait, stop a second. Does it say, did, did he say that it hurt him? No, he doesn't say it hurt him. So we don't know if it hurt him or not. No, the word is Daraba. No, but we don't know if it inflicted pain. For all we know, for, for all we know, yeah, he was bleeding, he was on the floor, he was in pain, he went home no. to his wife. We don't know the conditions. Do you, do you understand the context here? No. He, he Daraba. Yeah. He, struck him. Yeah, and how did he feel? It's the same word in the Quran, yeah, but strike your yeah, wife. Yeah. Meaning, with what, what, okay. what uh, intensity, what yeah. intensity of striking yeah. is, yeah. the same as a guy okay. says, may Allah okay. give you more knowledge. Okay. So, what's okay. wrong with that? Okay. How did the same thing, you're telling your wife? Okay. Well, it Come doesn't on. Say, it doesn't say what the effect of the strike was. He was a man, it doesn't hurt him at all. How do you know this? Because, now, the, now, what if there's because another verse? Because he's, he's, quoting, he's verse, quoting the hadith. What if there's another verse to do with the same word yeah. used to tame wild animals? Okay, show me. 
No, who, who, no, no, I'm, I'm not going, I'm not, no, 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 there is no, brother, there is no, there is no ifs, there is no ifs and buts you need to show me. You are known, I just show you my proof. You are known as a person who rejects Sahih Hadith. Okay, I think he's probably, he's completely in denial. Okay. Let's come back to Jesus and the fig tree. Just one question. I think, I think we're done. I think I made my question. Just one question and I'm done. Can you reject Sahih Hadith? Yes, you can. So what's the you point? What's you know, the not, tell you Any, because you know, you know why? No, no, you know why? I, I tell you why. Because this uh, hadith is, Quran is completely perfect, infallible. No doubt as a Muslim. Okay. Completely. Hadith are not. Why? I have read myself a hadith contradict with each other. And they are both sahih. Okay. And I, th I, am, so I, I can mean? show you some hadith. What actually, sahih mean? They, 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 but who says that sahih? But Muhammad 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 is, or Allah? But Muhammad so, Muhammad is scholars, infallible. No, 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 yes. Not the scholars in there. So what are, what are scholars? No, scholars agree Brother, what are scholars? Are scholars infallible? That's not no, the but point. Muhammad that is, is the point. If exactly. There are two oh. hadith that contradict, brother, and they're both from brother. Muhammad. That means Muhammad contradicted himself. No, that well, means. Well, abrogation is a thing. That, it's not that, terrible. That means those people who are uh, reporting it, who are reporting the, the hadith, they made it out of somewhere because we know. Okay. The prophet so is, is guided by Allah okay. subhanahu wa ta'ala and, and I, I, I can Hassan. tell you something. I can which, tell you scholar, something. which scholar agrees that you can reject Sahih Hadith? Oh, many scholars. Like who? Like who? Albani. Sheikh Albani. One of the greatest okay, Muhaddis. You know what he did? Okay, he admits that he Read. Not only admit. He picked from, uh, Hadith from Bukhari and Muslim. Yeah. And he said, these are not Sahih. Yeah. These are weak Hadiths. Okay. He himself. Okay. One of the greatest okay. uh, Hadith scholar of the last century. Okay. Many people. You know, can you reject Sahih Bukhari? He did. No, Sheikh Albani did. Who I am? He, 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 can you do that and still be a Muslim? Can you do that and still be a Muslim? Sheikh Albani? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, of course you can. Sai Bukhari, yeah, he got rid of 98% of the hadith. There you go. So he's the first one who rejected the hadith. No, no, no. He was, no, no, I said he rejected no, no. it. And his book only has 2%. So all that work he did, he did all that work for over 20 years. And someone like you comes along and just rejected it. Do you know what you're making outright. my point for me? Okay. You're just saying the Sahih Bukh Imam Bukhari was one of the earliest people who rejected hadith. No, no, he never rejected his hadith. He rejected other people's hadith. No, he... And then it became no, no, no. Sahih. He Bukhari. collected hadith. He kept only the, the no, book no, because that was in his no, judgment. So he collected the hadith. Yeah, yeah he collected... He rejected the ones he didn't know. Which he thought cannot be right. He rejected it. Yeah, even, the people, he, even the people say this is the hadith from Muhammad yeah. Sallallahu Alaihi But he thought it was not. Meaning, yeah. as, a, as a human being, a person, yeah. if something is clear to you, yeah. Yeah. something is not right, yeah. you can reject it. Yeah. So even what I'm saying, Imam Bukhari, yeah. even though he done his best, yeah. but of course, he as a human being, yeah. he made some errors. He too. rejected it because of the trend generations. Because he only accepted the ones where the trend generations were absolutely solid. Well so everything he kept, that's why he's, he's held as the he tells us the best because he kept only those that could be trusted by the channel. Okay, what, what do you say about uh, yeah. Sheikh Albani? He was a great scholar, yes? W well, no, no. What do you say? No, no, open no, right now no, and see by uh, no, Sheikh that. Albani rejecting Amiyam Bukhari. I don't need to do that. I'll tell you why I don't need to no, do because that. Because he knows more no, than you I and me. You, no, I'll tell you why I don't need to do that. Because Sahih Bukhari and Sahih Muslim are universally trusted amongst Sunni Muslims. As so Sheikh Albani didn't know that. Not compared to them. I'm going to say to you. Not competitive, and you have to accept. That so you, no, no. So, so Sheikh Albani, as a scholar of hadith, yeah. he's saying these hadiths are weak hadiths. No, I'm saying, so I, I'm saying he's he's a good, he may be a good sheikh, but he's not at the yeah. level of Bukhari and Muslim, and you know this. No, you, you, you actually know the this. The point here is that even Imam Bukhari and Muslims, yes. they were very sincere in collecting, yeah. Yeah. but even they made errors okay. as well. Okay. You know, like Jalla Land. Yeah. Disagree no, with him. No, Jalal Lane was a. Um, no, I'm not going to let you divert. I'm not. Sai I'm Bukhari. saying the scholars can be right and wrong okay, as well. Okay. So All scholars right. disagree with okay. each other. Okay. So what I'm you know, saying okay. is, okay. we believe Allah can okay. is infallible, okay. and this prophet guided by Allah, okay. divine knowledge, is okay. infallible in, in many okay. ways. Okay. But other than them, yeah. you can disagree with anyone if you find them wrong. Does Sahih mean Sahih? Then? Mal Imam Malik said that. I do quote you. Imam Malik says that you can disagree with any human being apart okay. from Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Does Sahih mean Sahih? Then? According to who? Sahih no, who? But, but According to human beings. If the book is called Sahih Bukhari and you can reject Sahih Bukhari, no. yeah, then the book itself can't be called Sahih Bukhari because uh, uh, you can no. reject You're you missing the point. Verses. If Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says there's going to be a book called Sahih Bukhari and that's okay. Sahih. If he would have said that, yeah. then it's for us binding, yeah. abiding that we must follow that. But he didn't say that. It's the people and the scholar says this right. Sahih in their opinion. But they come Sheikh Albani, one of the greatest Sahih uh, Muhaddis, 
he says no even bukhari and muslim have uh, weak hadith yeah. so he rejected it yeah. the point here is that even bukhari and muslim can be wrong as well and there are contradicting hadith in imam bukhari in sahi bukhari and muslim muslim what that means they both can't be right okay so so sahi doesn't mean sahi then I, mean, you, I don't know what you no, mean. No, no, I mean, if you can I'm, reject. I'm telling you, you can it's reject, a human being if saying reject, that, Sahih. If you can reject hadiths that are called authentic or true. By who? By Allah. The book, the book, no, the book is called Sahih Bukhari. You're not getting the point. Who says it's Sahih? The Muslims. In the, Muslim, the Muslim ulama. Oh, fallible human beings. Ulama. Fallible human beings. Ulama. No, fallible human beings. Muslim ulama are. The Muslim ulama are also not infallible. But the consensus amongst the self, the consensus amongst the scholars for all these it, it, years. It, it, it is not a complete consensus. It's not because many 10 to 15 percent of uh, Shias of the, of the world they reject all so these hadiths. Meaning the general consensus. General of, of the majority of the scholars, especially on the Sunni side, is that Sahih Bukhari and Sahih Muslim Obviously, it's not general trusted. consensus. Amongst because the Sheikh Albani, one the of the greatest scholars, he's rejecting the hadith. Yeah, yeah. And there are many okay. other, so, uh, okay. a, uh, what's his name, Zai, uh, okay. Pakistani uh, Mahadis, one of the great mm -hmm. Mahadis as well. He also rejects many of Sahih Muslim so and Sahih Bukhari. If, so if the Sheikhs reject Sahih Bukhari or Sahih Muslim, yeah. They have to have if, a reason. If one or two sheikhs from somewhere reject Sahih Bukhari, Sahih Muslim. That's more than one. Yeah. Okay. If a couple of them reject Sahih Bukhari, Sahih Muslim, right. then are are are, are, the, are the other Muslims supposed to follow Sahih Bukhari, Sahih Muslim, or these few people who rejected it? No. We well, look. We need to use our our knowledge, common sense as well. Anything goes against the spirit of the Quran, and and, and the history, fact of history, fact of science, then there can't be. Uh, 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 correct hadiths. Okay. So we can reject that on a common sense level. Every individual Muslim can choose which ones to reject and which ones to accept. No, it's not like that. It's not okay. like that. You can debate about that and okay. you can see, give your reasons why I'm rejecting that. That's okay. going against the Quran. Okay. So there are reasons you can reject that. But, but what hadith are you trying to keep bringing? No, no. Where no we, why are we diverting into that? We were talking about the beating of the wife no, and no, word daraba. No, because you I say you're going to show me the word daraba means something no, I, I else. Say I, I want you to show me. I didn't say I was going to show you. I said there's no point because you, so because you reject Sahih hadiths. Now, Eli, if you reject Sahih Hadith, ah, right, if you can so reject Sahih you can reject Sahih Hadith. What stops another okay. Muslim from so rejecting Sahih Hadith? I'm just quoting you say, obviously, no. I'm not rejecting Sahih Hadith. No, but you said you What I'm saying, anything Sahih goes Sahih against the Quran. Yeah. According to who? You. According to the Quran. No, no. Your interpretation. The word, no, no, the word Daraba in the Quran. I show you no. what Daraba means. No, but you said that you can reject Sahih Hadith according to, uh, if they go against We're the Quran. We're talking about the word Daraba, yes? No. We were well, talking no. about the word we'll Daraba. Well, you said you can reject Hadith, Sahih Hadith, yes. Yeah, yeah. if they go against the Quran. Absolutely. Yeah. So Who decides so if they go against the Quran? Do you? It's just you read the Quran and read the Hadith. Okay, so what if two Muslims got a different interpretation? Well, you, you are just saying a lot of ifs in no. your, in your, okay. in, in your talk. There are a lot of ifs. Hey. Give me an example. No. Okay. Give me example okay. Okay. which okay. one okay but then i'll answer okay. give you my answer okay a a a um a, give me an example no. which one muslims disagree on certain particular point of the quran and they bring this hadith and the other one bring that hadith. give me an example then i'll give you my opinion no but because there are a lot we're of talking about the general we're talking about a general point i don't need to give you a specific point no but you are the general going point. on a lot of hypotheses and i think it's not very clever shall i clarify my point for you because huh? you might be missing my point if if you can reject Sahih, if a person can reject Sahih Hadith, yeah, if a person can do it, yeah, if a Muslim can and do it, and I do, and you do, I yeah, do absolutely, yeah, yeah because of what? there are Sahih Hadith that are contradicting, okay. Okay. both can't be correct. And if another Stone. Muslim comes along, and and, and he, I will talk to him and, and I'll give my reasons to him, okay, of course. And, and I know there are, Muslim, there are a lot of Muslims who says Sahih Bukhari, you cannot reject a single Hadith. It's like, but I say, look. You are treating point. Sahih Bukhari like a Quran. Are you missing my point deliberately? My I'm point is that if every single Muslim can can choose which Sahih Hadith to follow, then you haven't really got um, no basis for following any of the Hadith because you can just reject whatever you want. No, what we know is that there are Hadith made up narrations. Sahih? Many, yeah, made up narrations by many people in the past by sometimes by mistake, they made mistakes, or sometimes they are being very uh, conniving, you know. They deliberately try to give wrong message of the Islam because Islam, the when Islam spread, there are a lot of people became Muslim and they didn't like to be Muslim because they were living under a Muslim state. So they have some sort of a uh, grudge. Some Jews become Muslim, some pagans become Muslim, so they have some sort of a grudge. So they become Muslim on, on the face, but they were not actually Muslim and they. Uh, spread words which were not from the Muhammad so, okay. so, so there are a lot of and they of course deceive 
scholars like great scholars. They didn't saw their what was in their heart, but they thought they may be telling the truth. That's why the opinion of some scholars that this was possible and that happened. That's why there are many narrations. Uh, they are like, uh, like I don't believe that Aisha was nine when Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam had sex with her. I don't, I don't believe in the hadith at all. It, it doesn't make any sense at all. That's you believe that that's an actual fact. No, it's not a fact. It is a fact. Of course not a fact. It's, it's in five it's separate sahihs. It's only in the hadith. It's in five separate sahihs. Yeah, but, but it's, all, it's only two... It's in the Sirah. But it's only like two different it's chains. It's in the Sirah. No, no. But yeah, they actually, and it was talked I, about Aisha herself. Actually, there are more than five. Okay. Actually, eight or nine. Okay. But if you see, all eight or nine look very closely. If you see, there's only two kind of chains. The same people in both chains. Hisham. Uh, uh, Hisham. No, no, not Ishaq. Ishaq is a... Ibn Hisham is there. Urwa is there. They are almost... In every hadith, they are there. So something going on there. These people over there, either they made a mistake or either they deliberately... I wouldn't say Urwa. Urwa was a nephew of uh, Aisha. Was by Aisha yeah, he, was, he was a nephew. Well, but I would, say, by I would say Ibn Hisham probably is yeah. the one probably yeah. was a little bit dodgy okay. narrator over there. Yeah. So that's why I think it's only two different chains are coming it's not like okay. look imagine this hadith is only from Aisha it's only from Aisha no 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 well listen listen to me if that marriage took okay. place Abu Bakr was a witness Umar was a witness Usman was a witness everybody was a witness why is not coming even from Abu Hurara always coming from Aisha meaning they use the word of Aisha probably Aisha never said it so they use her name and, and they exploited Muhammad Sallallahu reputation according to that. That's my opinion. Actually, there are some scholars. So there, there are Bukhari, opinions she's like that. Paying adults, so she was not an adult. No, not according to Bukhari. No, according to Bukhari. According Bukhari, according to Bukhari. Bukhari collected because it according to Ibn Hisham or uh, the father of Ibn Hisham. It's from them so coming. So you reject that hadith? He, I reject that hadith completely. Okay. Because there is one story. Even though it was narrated by Aisha. They said it's narrated by Aisha. But Aisha so We don't know if it's narrated by Aisha or not. Aisha wouldn't lie, of course. Yeah. But they said it's coming from no, Aisha. Aisha said, it, it, it says narrated by Aisha. No, no, they said Aisha said. Because, because they say from come from Aisha, but then uh, Ibn Hisham, sorry, Sham's father and Hisham, and then go back. When the time of Bukhari, he heard from somebody. Who heard from somebody? Who heard from somebody? And they say Aisha said that. So that is the doubt is. Did Aisha really said that? Why we didn't have the same story from Abu Bakr or Umar, Usman, Abu Hurara, Abu Ibn Abbas? Ba Why they never quote that? We know that the Prophet went to, to, Abu, um, to Abu Bakr and asked for um, to marry Aisha. That's again, yeah. again the same had the same kind of chain of narrations. But you see, there's another story in um, in uh, what's it uh, One of the earliest biographer of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Saad Ibn Sa Ibn Saad. Ibn Saad. The one of the yeah, know, earliest know, know. you know his story of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and, and that that actually negates the fact that Aisha could be nine years old he, he says the Muhammad Sallallahu was passing by and the woman came to him and she said you look very sad what's happening he said you know Khadija has passed away so I have a young children at home to not to look after I have a uh, I have a responsibility of prophethood and to home to look after she said why don't you get married he said, do you have any in your opinion? She said, I have two. One is virgin and one is uh, widow. He said, Who's, who are they? He said, one is Soda, yeah, widow one. And the virgin one is Aisha, your, your brother's uh, daughter, Abu Bakr's daughter. He said, okay, you can go and ask them. So she went to Abu Bakr's house and she said, do you accept the hand to give to your daughter to Abu Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi You know what he says? He said, my daughter has been engaged with somebody else. Since we became Muslim, they are uh, not talking to us anymore. So until we finalize with them, we cannot answer. So then she went to Soda. The question here is this. Remember, Mama Sassam said, say, we have a, I have a little children at home to look after. How come a woman be thinking of six-year-old to bring in the house to look after his, his children, his household? So Aisha could not be six. Second point is, Aisha was already engaged. And since Abu Bakr became Muslim, they are not talking to them. Meaning for 10 years they've been become Muslim. For ten, at that time, it's 10 years he was already Muslim. So how old Aisha would have been when she was, got engaged with that person? And now for 10 years have passed, they are, not, they are not talking to them. And of course, they are rejected in the end. That's the whole story. And that is in uh, uh, the book, uh, you know the book I'm talking about, the first biography written. 
I forgot the name. I can, I can bring the proof to you. So it's also in Tabari as well. This story is also in Tabari as well. So this story when I read, it's so crystal clear to me that Aisha could not be six years old. The woman was thinking to look after his house. It cannot be. So now that's another hadith in Bukhari. Okay. I'm talking about Shai this. This, 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 this is the uh, Tabakatul Kubra. Tabakatul Kubra. That's Tabakatul Tabakat Ibn Saad. When my used to come into the house, her friends used to hide. That's not the behavior. Yes, I'm rejecting those hadiths. You're rejecting all that, even though it's inside Bukhari and Muslim. Yes, I'm End rejecting. End of conversation. I'm, I'm rejecting. End of conversation. Good conversation. But, but I, 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 I read those other things. Yeah. So, and I'm not the only one. There are many uh, people rejecting those hadiths. No, she, she has completely rejected those hadiths. Yeah. Even um, uh, there are other scholars as well, you wouldn't know in Pakistan. Um, uh, not Maududi. Uh, Maududi is. Um, it doesn't go against the spirit Maududi's of the Quran. Maududi's pupils. Huh? It doesn't go against the spirit of the Quran. Him marrying a child. Doesn't go against the spirit of the Quran. Yeah, yeah. So on what basis are you rejecting it? What basis I'm rejecting? I, I would not believe a prophet could have a sex with nine year old. Okay, fair enough. On those bases. Let's end it there. He's the Ramatul al okay, let's end it and, and I do not believe that he would have had a sexual... But you accept that it doesn't go against... And, and it doesn't go against um, the Quran, it doesn't go against the Syria, it doesn't go against the Hadith, and it doesn't go against... I'm, I'm maybe putting Islam. myself in a spot yeah. towards some Muslim who have said that. Go when he says he's the Ramatul al mercy to the world, and I would not believe mercy to the world could have a sexual behind okay. The conversation started off with... Um, um, Abbas saying basically that um, the only reason in 434 that you should hit the wife is if she um, is unchaste. He, he defined the unchaste as being a person who dresses inappropriately. He says, um, he goes on to say that that's the only reason you should be the wife. He goes on to say that, um, as you said, that um, you're not supposed to inflict any pain, you're not supposed to break anything, and you're not supposed to hurt her in any way. And then we went on from there, to, we went on to Sahih Hadiths. He said he can reject Sahih Hadiths, um, Sahih Hadiths, Sahih Bukhari, Sahih Muslim, and the rest. Um, he says individual Muslims can, can reject it based on, on um, if they think it goes against the spirit of the Quran. And then we ended with him rejecting um, the marriage of Aisha because he thinks that um, that goes against the Hadith, that goes against the Quran, and um, that he's probably going to have done something like that. That's the, that's the conversation. It's up to him if that's what he believes, and um, people will make their own.